So welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Davis Spider Monkey 2A. I was just cleaning out my uh, gear bag, getting stuff cleaned up, put away for the year. 2020 uh, Wisconsin gun deer season, regular season, is coming to an end. And I was just kind of recapping in my head, and I kind of wanted to bring you along. Stick around. Should be a lot of fun. Alright, so... Started off opening morning. Uh, my brother and I, we head up to <clears throat> the other property that we hunt on, and he and I are sitting separately. And right away, I get a small buck coming out, and that's this little guy. So he sticks around for a little bit, kind of scoots off. I let my brother know he's coming before I could even, or he responded, and then he sends a, a video back. Here he is again. So that was basically all I saw that morning. Uh, a little bit later, maybe an hour, uh, I started hearing some shooting over by my brother. And he uh, he got a doe. I think he missed, yeah, he missed a buck. He got a doe, and then he did something he wanted to do for the longest time, and he waited for two doe to line up, and he took two doe with one shot. And it was amazing. Clean pass through on the first one. And right into the lungs of the second one. She didn't go more than 15 yards. So that was basically our excitement for opening day. And here's the pictures of those ones. Probably the biggest doe I've ever seen. That basically concluded day one. We didn't see much else. I did see a, a buck did sneak up behind me. It looks like he got ran through. And then he ran back through the woods. I didn't have a shot. Wasn't even going to try so day two, we are sitting in the box blind down below my brother's place, and uh, I was all excited about the uh, seven millimeter Remington Magnum, the Mossberg Patriot that I had bought. I haven't practiced much with it though. I did uh, make a video showing its devastation. I maybe shot a box through this thing. That's not enough to become proficient in it. Well, anyways, a doe comes out fairly early, right after just enough light to see, and she <laughs> sits out in the field, and I get ready to shoot. She's probably 200 yards, maybe a little less. I shoot, and I must have had forward pressure, because I'm leaning, or I just have the gun resting on the window of the box blind. And when I shoot, kicks back. Mag drops completely out. Oh, God, I was just so mad. Well, she's standing around just looking around like nothing right underneath. 
<laughs> so my brother's giving me a hard time saying, oh, no, 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 take your time, go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, so I got the mag back in, chambered one, I shoot, and I thought I hit her. She ran into the woods pretty fast. Anyways, so I'm beating myself up for that, and no more than five minutes later, another doe comes out. So I take my time, make sure that mag's in there, and I'm not pressing up against the window like I was before. I shoot. I thought I made a hit, and she ran into the woods basically the same spot the other one did. So we were waiting, probably five more minutes, and two more doe come walking out. I couldn't believe it. So I pick what I thought was the bigger one, and I aimed a little higher this time, because they're all around the same distance. And I shoot, and that one, you can tell, just hit her hard. She ran into the woods, so then we went over to check. I found her, the third one. She didn't go far at all. And we couldn't find blood on the other ones. So, a little defeated on that one. I was not overly impressed with the 7 mag. But I do believe that has become I have not practiced enough with it. And that's on me. So here's a picture of her. And that was the end of day two. So after that, um, I mean, the regular work week had to start back up, so I didn't really get back out. I did go out one evening, uh, just for a couple hours, didn't see a thing. So Wednesday morning, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning is was my last night of work for the week. And we were supposed to have just nasty weather, rain, gross stuff, but it didn't look like it was going to start till maybe around noonish. So... I figured, what the heck, I'm going to regret it, and when the weather's turning like that, it usually gets them moving. So, I hurry up, get home, pack up my stuff, but switch to the 6.5 Creedmoor. That is my go-to rifle. I have had that for years. I trust it. I did make a scope change this year, but what I sighted it in, uh, the only difference was I was using reloads that my brother made for me. And these are 129 grain instead of the usual 125 grain, I think, factory loads I was using. I videoed an intro to that, and I no more than plug the charger into my phone, just in case we're going to be out there for a while, and 3 do walk out. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And they're only about 100 yards away. At that point, I don't need to judge the distance on the bullet drop on my scope. Thank goodness. I struggle at times with that. So I shoot, and she runs hard, and I'm just thinking, wow, is this how it's going to be? Did I miss again? Well, anyway, she runs towards the crick, and when she hits that crick, I'm like, she's running full bore. <laughs> when she went to go jump up on the other side, her front legs didn't work anymore. So she just face planted out. <sighs> One down. So I call my brother up, let him know. I'm like, hey, I got a doe, it's on this side of the property, and it's going to be rough getting her out. Not a big deal. So I step outside of the blind to use the restroom, and I'm, of course I'm looking around, because you have to, and I see a deer come running down with his nose to the ground. I couldn't see the rack from there, but you can tell that's a, a buck's attitude. And he's hot on her trail. He had no idea. And I this must have only been five minutes after. And so I hop back in the blind. I get everything ready to go, except for the camera. Oh, anyways. So he steps out, and I shoot. And he jumps probably four feet in the air. And you can tell that was a good hit. But the way he ran, I was a little concerned. Well, he ran the other way way up the hillside that was gonna be rough i knew tracking him so my brother comes home bless his heart and <laughs> we had a little incident getting the dough everybody was okay though got her out and we went over and luckily he can track better than i can i can't see the blood there's still a little bit of snow so i was able to spot that but as far as on wet leaves i have a hard time with colors so <laughs> We got him out, and so that was it for me. 
Uh, got my three tags filled. Uh, my brother had a couple extra. He's had, I think he's got four doe. Yeah. No, he got three gun season. Sorry. He had one for bow hunting. So that was seven deer total for us. Just an absolutely amazing hunt. And here's a couple pictures of the last couple that I took. Not every hunt's as memorable as this. Uh, the last three years, I believe my brother and I have had some pretty memorable hunts. And those are the things that I cherish. And I wanted to share with you. Uh, you guys seem to be interested in the stuff that I say, the stories that I share. I want to hear yours. Uh, if you're from Wisconsin and you just got out in the 2020 uh, regular gun season, give me a couple stories. Uh, your success. I don't know if you can post a picture to the comments on YouTube, but I want to hear it. Uh, maybe share your stories. If you have a season coming up, I wish you the best of luck. If you've already had success in your seasons, congratulations. I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. And this is Davis Spider Monkey 2A. We are going to get back out on the range here. <clears throat> and I got a couple fun things in mind. And hopefully we can make that happen soon. All right, everybody. So like, maybe share this video. I hope you subscribe to us on YouTube. If not, thanks for stopping by.